Hello community, we have a newsflash! We got the most powerful open source large language model. One hour ago and it is from Databricks, Arx. So yes, it beats Grok1, this strange little system. And where can you find it? Since it's open source, you go to Databricks, Databricks Rx, and you see one hour ago it was uploaded to GitHub. What is it? It is a mixture of export models with 132 billion free trainable parameters, but only 36 billion are live parameters. So they have 16 experts in their mixture of expert system, but only four of those 16 are active during the training or during inference. That is a pre-training set of 12 trillion tokens of text and a context length of 32,000 tokens. We get two open source model. We get the base model, the, just the pre-trained base model, and we get the data bricks or X instruction model, the fine-tuned model for instruction following. And as you see, was trained during optimal version of our open source library. This is beautiful. Now, if you want to run this on your custom 8 gigabyte VRAM, this might be a little bit of a disappointment because given the sheer size of this model, here you have Databricks recommend at least 320 gigabyte of memory to run the model. Please notice at least. But the command is quite simple. So here we go. They have tested this on different libraries and they recommend if you want to run this in a 16-bit precision mode, you need a minimum of four times an 80 gigabyte, well, I guess NVIDIA multi-GPU system. What does it use? What is internal architecture? Databricks Rx uses here the rotary position encodings here, rope, gated linear units, and a grouped query attention mechanisms. It uses the GPT-4 tokenizer as provided in the TIC token repository. And they made those choices based on their testing results. As I told you, it was pre-trained on 12 trillion tokens of fully carefully curated data. If you say, hey, can I go on and fine tune this open source model? Of course, and here, in the Mosaic LLM Foundry, you have here the code and the procedure, and you need to pay, I suppose, here for the GPU nodes, wherever you go in the cloud, for the fine tuning here of this beautiful open source model. Now, as you can see, it was also updated one hour ago on Hugging Face, Databricks Collection, Databricks Rx, a mixture of export model now available Go there, have a look, it is huge. Of course, we have here the first response here from the press, why it says the, world, the world's most powerful open source AI model. Forbes has a nice idea. Databricks unveils an AI model that helps businesses build their own high performance model. And you know, Databricks, a $43 billion company. So, they spend about $10 million of their money to provide you to community a new powerful open source LLM so that enterprises and businesses can build their own models, their own powerful models. Great. Just some information, two months of training, they used about 3,072 powerful NVIDIA H100 GPUs they leased from a cloud provider. They got some really impressive scores. And I already told you about the GPT-4 tokenizer. Please notice for that for the training data set, they here curated this training data set in a beautiful way and they used all their technology they had. So this new data set for this particular LLM was developed using the full side of Databricks tool, Apache Spark, Databricks Notebook for data processing, the new Unity catalog for the data management of the governments, and of course, MLflow for experiment tracking. So all of this comes together to build here, let's call it the best performance data set for pre-training. As I told you, 
16 experts and it you can choose four experts while mixtral and grog one have eight experts in total but only two operational and databricks tells us hey this provides 65 times more possible combination of experts for your specific business related problem and they found that this improves the model quality significantly isn't this beautiful let's talk about benchmarks here we go i have here from the technical paper from databricks here here you have it here the first in red you can see it it beats here all the other open source model in language understanding if you go here programming human evaluation beats everything and if you go for mathematical causal reasoning and you have here the standard benchmark data set it beats all other open source model now isn't this beautiful now remember it's just one hour that we have access to this so the next test will be in the next days maybe in the next week but just to inform you we have a new most powerful open source llm two more information for you the long context task how good is it here on the long context 32k token and you have here different models the data breaks rx instruct model here in the first one and then you have mixed well gpt 3.5 turbo and the latest gpt4 turbo and you see here exactly here the benchmark data for long context tasks and of course, if we go and we are not any more restricted here to the open source model, as you can see with GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT 4 Turbo, we are here in the market from the most powerful LLM, not just open source. And as you can see here, there are two rack benchmark for retrieval augmented generation. And this is natural questions on hot pot Q&A. And you see here, of course, Still, GPT-4 Turbo takes the lead here with 63.9% compared here to Databricks 60 or 62.9% compared to 55% by Databricks RX Instruct model. So, some beautiful new data. Finally, we have a new open source model. But my goodness, it is a huge model. This is from the very first hour of the public release. I would be interested to have you feedback here in the comments. And it would be great to see you in one of my next video when we have a deep dive and we apply and we use now here Databricks RX. See you in my next video.